All right, this is getting out of hand here. We are looking at the best 1440p GPU options to get on the market right now. But for pure 1440p budget, you got the RX 7700 XT and the 7800 XT. I feel like these GPUs are really good when it comes to gaming at 1440p, one being for $350 and one being for $400-ish dollars. And uh, both GPUs are pretty much from the same um, uh, generation, basically. They will perform really good. The 7700 XT performs as good as something like the RTX 4070, which goes for $500 right now, by the way. And the 7800 XT beats the waters out of the 4070 in a lot of games, and it's got more VRAM. So yeah, for 1440p gaming, these two GPUs are really good if you wanted to go on a budget. Switching to the higher end side of 1440p, you got two options. You got the RTX 4070 Super, which is one of the few NVIDIA GPUs that makes sense right now. And the RX 7900GRE, the Rabbit Edition from AMD, a 16 gigabyte GPU that gets the job done. That's really good when it comes to the performance that you are getting. And both the GPUs really are trading blows. Uh, with Nvidia having the upper hand at ray tracing and these 3D intensive applications like Blender, for example, and AMD having the upper hand when it comes to uh, the better rasterization performance by like one to two percent, which is nothing and the more VRAM and the cheaper pricing. So yeah, for this type of territory or budget, 1440p is a bit competitive here for the sub $500 to $600 GPUs. You know where it's not competitive at all? The sub $600 to $650 GPU price range. I feel like for 1440p, this is the GPU. This is a sweet spot for pricing high end and the highest end performance if that makes any sense you know this is a bleeding edge when it comes to saying oh it's expensive but not that expensive and you are getting the highest possible performance when it comes to gaming the arc 7900 xt right now guys goes for 630 dollars i've made like five other videos saying this is a crazy good deal i hope by the time i'm editing it's not out of stock it's not for more than that for $630, you are getting the same performance of a 4070 Ti Super of rasterization. This is crazy because this GPU goes for $800 to $850. You can never, ever go with anything other than that one. And let me just put it into your head. The RX 7900 XT, a 20 gigabyte GPU, is for the same price of the 4070 Super being a 12 gigabyte GPU. And as you can see from the benchmarks and the results, the difference is real. So I feel like this is the GOAT of gaming systems right now. This is the GOAT of 1440p GPUs as of now. And I feel like, yeah, this is the go-to GPU. 4080 Super for $1,000 if you got that much money. It's still there. It's still a good GPU actually if you really want that streaming capabilities. You want that ray tracing. You want all the NVIDIA features. You're doing stuff next to gaming. Then, yeah, I feel like AMD is out of the question here. And there is the behemoth RX 7900 XTX where AMD really didn't know what to do. So they increased the VRAM to 24 gigs and the same rasterization performance of the 4080 Super. It goes for $830, which is $200 cheaper than the cheapest RTX 4080 Super right now. That makes sense to get. So yeah, it's kind of a tough word here because it's more higher end than the other GPUs. So if I had $800, would I go with 7900 XTX or add an extra $200 and go with the 4080 Super or you can go with the 4070 Ti Super which is as crazy as it can get if you pick that one over 7900 XTX if you are not a gamer and you don't care about ray tracing but all things can be you know make sense once you decided to care about ray tracing and the NVIDIA feature anyways that's been it and these are the best 1440p 4k GPUs to get in the market right now they're not gonna change even with the arrival of the RTX 5000 series GPUs I feel so at least for the AMD side or AMD can even make them cheaper I don't know how cheap can they go really see you in the next one peace